Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to check to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Capricorn. This is going to be your beginning to middle of April. Down below, I will have that timestamp if you want to skip past the shuffling. The links for my Spotify and Apple Music will be down below as well, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transaction, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, before I start, I am doing the 1000 subscriber giveaway contest. It starts today. If you're interested in how to enter, the video is up, and I will also have the link for that down below. Okay, let's start shuffling. For Capricorn, for the beginning to middle of April, Capricorn, beginning to middle, thank you. Beginning to middle of April for Capricorn. What's Capricorn dealing with beginning to middle of April? Okay. What's Capricorn dealing with beginning to middle of April? What do they got going on beginning to middle of April? What's going on with Capricorn? Ooh. What's going on with Capricorn beginning to middle of April? Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn beginning to middle of April? Thank you. Can I get a clarifier for this page of air, please? Ooh, page of air, please. Why is the page of air here? Why is the page of air here? Thank you. Okay, why is the ten of air here? Thank you. I somehow knew that was going to come out. Okay, and can I get a clarifier for the Knight of Water? Thank you. Okay, we're going to look underneath the deck and see what's been going on. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. Um, in your past energy, I have um, I have you went through a tower moment. You're experiencing a tower moment. Um, this is a significant change. It's time for you to spread your wings, whatever this realization was. Um, I think something's been holding you back. And I feel like now you're seeing there's a lot of abundance ahead of you. And um, you're ready to like let go of your fears. And um, I feel like you're just giving it all up to the universe. And you're just going for it. Because um, you have um, very high quality work. Whatever you do. Very high quality work. Um, people also see you as a team player. Um, I think actually you're in a relationship that was holding you back. Yeah, I feel like you're in a relationship that was holding you back. And, um, like, you're ready to just spread your wings and fly because you feel like you, you are a team player. So you do a lot of work in this relationship. There's two, you do the work of two people, I see. This, and then you have one person, uh, okay, there's two people here and then there's one person right here. Um, this person's not doing anything to work on the project. They're watching, uh, basically you split into two and just do all the work, so... Um, whew, yeah, I feel like, um, that's why also you're, it's time to spread your wings and fly. That's why also it's time to spread your wings and fly because you do so much work. Um, yeah, you do so much work in this relationship or situation and it's time for you to step into your greatness. This person just holds you back. Yeah, because they don't do any of the work. It's just you doing all the work. So, um... You're tired of this person not stepping up and um, 
they they're really like in this picture you're being held back by this person so i really strongly believe um it's time for you to move in a new direction yeah it's time for you to move in a new direction because being with this person it makes you stressed out you makes your life imbalanced and um it, it hurts you like yeah th like this situation hurts you and it's like you keep going back and forth with it or um contemplating in your mind about leaving and you just you realize being with this person and it's like hurting yourself so um you're gonna take a lot of quiet time alone I uh, feel like you're going to be thinking things over. I also feel like um, you may just up and leave the situation. Um, you're enjoying life's little luxuries. Um, yeah, spending quiet time alone. Successful self-employment. Looking good for you. And yeah, this is your King Midas. So once you kind of leave this all behind, just... You leave this all behind and you just kind of... Um, it's like, wow. There's so much abundance that I have myself, that I made myself. Um, you merge into this beautiful butterfly, like you gain all this confidence. There's also a lot of money coming your way, a lot of abundance coming your way, a lot of new opportunities coming, lets you kind of let yourself free of this. And then I have over here, um, yeah, something, you just, you cut it off. Whatever this was, you cut it off. Um, I feel like you, you took your heart. Um, I feel like you took your heart. I feel like there is a lot of emotion uh, coming through with this. Um, I think this was the ending of a cycle for you. Um, and I feel like this cycle, you learned so many lessons. Um, yeah, you, whatever this was, you definitely cut this off. Because um, it's over and you learned so many lessons from this. And um, this also brought you a lot of inner conflict the ending of this cycle and you're being um nudged into a direction um to honor yourself and your commitments um to get things done i feel like you're supposed to be just taking care of yourself right now um yeah because this is the ending of a difficult situation um embrace the change expect things to get better now you're also recovering from an addiction um i feel like you are addicted to this person um and now you're speaking your mind with confidence. You're going to speak your mind with confidence. This is a lot of sadness. So if something's been making you sad, I feel like you're going to um, speak your mind about it. This is um, balancing your mental and emotional considerations. Oh, yeah. So I'm feeling like this has been something that's on your mind for a while. It's like you want to free yourself from this situation. And... Um, yeah, you want to free yourself from the situation because there's a lot of emotions and pain behind it. And this is a finished cycle. Um, I feel like you're also being nudged. You're, this is making you have a lot of inner conflict. I think speaking your mind um, to this person is giving you a lot of inner conflict. But you're being nudged to go into that direction to honor yourself and your commitments and your feelings. Yeah, you're being honored to... Um, you're being honored to um, honor yourself and your feelings. Like, your feelings are valid. Um, and you got to know that this is the ending of a difficult situation. It's time for you to embrace the change and speak your mind with confidence. Um, and I feel like when you speak your mind with confidence, that's going to help you balance your emotional and mental considerations. Um... Because I feel like this person, they make, they make you feel like up and down, up and down, up and down. And, um, like, you have this need to balance your emotions. Um, but it's like, you have to make a decision to speak up, I feel. I feel like, I feel like every time you want to speak up and say something, uh, yeah, I feel like every time you want to speak up and say something, say how you feel, um... There's something inside of you that keeps fighting you. You know what? Um, we're still kind of in this retrograde energy. So I feel like that's what's going on here. I feel like it's like, no, I'm going to say something. I'm sick of this. And then like I feel like self-doubt comes through uh, where you feel like, no, I can't. There's too much going on. I don't want to deal with how I'm feeling. Or you feel like how you're feeling is wrong or something. And um, it's time for you to rise out of that. And um, I feel... Yeah, I feel like you're going to be coming out on top. Um, you have the sunshine hitting hitting you. So I feel like 
you're being urged to come out of this darkness as you um, speak your mind. This is going to help you release some of that emotion that you've been repressing. And it's going to help you um, come out the surface of the water. It's going to help you... Um, it's going to bring you into the light, I feel like. It's going to um, make you feel so much better, I feel. Um, because it's going to help you balance your emotions by getting them out. And... Um, you have to make a decision, though, because, yeah, you have to make a decision. I feel like you are scared, I guess. Um, I think you're scared on what people are going to say or what this person's going to say to you. Um, yeah, I think you're scared of what this person's going to say to you. Um, So it's like, I don't want to make a decision on it right now. It's like, I don't want to make a decision on it right now. I want to think it through more before I say anything. But um, it's like you are being urged into this direction to speak your mind, speak your emotions, to um, let this person know how they made you feel, I'm getting. Um, but I feel like it's like there's this an illusion energy that comes through, like this self-doubt comes through. Where it makes you question, um, it makes you question your feelings to this person, or like, it makes you question, it makes you question, um, oh, know what it is? You don't want to start more conflict, because there's a lot of conflict with this person in the past. You don't want to start more conflict when it comes to this person, I feel. But um, you're being urged to not repress your emotions. Um, I feel like nobody else's emotions matter in this situation but yours. I feel like you're the person that always... Like, I feel like this guy represses all his sadness and that's why it shows up on his skin. Um, you're being urged to let it out. To let it out. Um, because your feelings are valid. Whatever the situation was, your feelings are valid. How it made you feel is valid. And, um, it's time to honor yourself and your, your emotions. But you still feel, like, at the end, it's still like, oh, I don't want to make a decision on it. I don't know. Um, it's almost like you're scared to deal with the consequences. But at this point, don't even think about the consequences. It's more of honoring yourself and not repressing your feelings just because someone might get upset that they made you sad or something like that or um I feel like you're dealing also with someone who may be like a manipulator who may be like um if you tell them that you're that you made that they made you sad I feel like they'll flip it on you somehow and um either way um you're just supposed to disregard whatever they have to say um, and really they should be coming, they should be coming to you with compassion because your emotions are valid regardless. Um, if someone made you feel a certain type of way and it made you really sad, I, there's a lot of sadness in these cards. So I feel like somebody made you really sad and I feel like they don't want to take responsibility for what they did to you. Um, but your, your emotions are valid. If speaking your mind is, is going to make this person uncomfortable, that's that's their problem to deal with. Um, because it's not your job to repress your sadness because it might make someone else um, mad that they made you sad. Like, that's what I'm really getting from this. I hope whoever I'm talking to, I hope this makes sense for you. But um, that's what's strongly coming through. Um, not repressing your emotions, getting them out. I feel like this cycle ending was, um, this cycle ending, it was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen. I just feel like you keep going back and forth in your head about something, about, um, about wh what you're feeling, what you're feeling really. Um... Because, like, underneath it all, like, once you kind of let this go, speak your mind to this person, whatever this is, once you release this, so much abundance comes through. But it's like you're, you're doubting it, you're, you're, 
yeah, you're doubting it, really. Um, it's more like I'm scared of the other person's reaction. But um, don't even worry about that other person's reaction because um, this is about you. You got to put you first. And um, yeah, you got to put you first. I hope that was really good for you guys. Um, I'll catch you next week. Um, also, for the people who skipped in the beginning, if you're interested in entering the 1,000 subscriber giveaway contest, the video is going to be up. I will also have the link down below if you want to um, find out more on how to enter, okay? Alright, bye!